safe use of electricity in the home. There are two major dangers of handling electricity. One is the risk of an electric shock, and two is the risk of fire. Some factors that cause dangers of electricity. The first one is the use of wire to damage insulation. Second one is the overheating of cables for various reasons. And the third one is, is if you are touching wet electrical appliances. This is a picture of a wire with damaged insulation. The risk of it is that it can cause electric shock if someone accidentally touches the exposed wire. The exposed wire may touch things that are flammable, for example, a carpet or a curtain. This wire may undergo a short circuit, which would heat up the wire to very high temperatures and set a fire. The insulation of wire protects us from touching it. There are wires that are not bare metal. They are normally covered with rubber. Damaged insulation between live and neutral wires may result in a short circuit. Then, the current flows through the wire will be large and the wire will be overheated and may cause fire. If your wires are thinner, they will have a higher resistance and that will produce more heat. The second one is if you plug in too many electrical appliances into the same power outlet. For example, this picture above. Now, if there are too many electrical appliances, the cables become overloaded and they will overheat. These heated up cables can lead to fire. Most people know that touching a wet electrical appliance would lead you to get an electric shock. The severity of an electric shock, it depends on the size of the current passing through our body. Some physiological effects, you can see that between 10 to 20 milliamperes, you would get uncontrollable muscular contractions. From 100 to 300 milliamperes, if the current passes through your heart, it can stop your heart, leading to death. Some facts about an average bolt of lightning. The size of the current depends on the voltage and the electrical resistance of the individual body. Most of the resistance of the human body lies in our skin. Our skin is actually an insulator. So, dry skin has a resistance of 100,000 ohms or more. If the resistance is high, then the current will be low. However, if the skin is wet, resistance actually falls to. Now, when the resistance decreases so much, the current would increase by the same proportion and therefore this current might kill you. Using your mains voltage, electricity is supplied to the house through the mains cable. This mains cable has 230 volts to 240 volts. Your mains electricity is obtained from the main sockets, which is fixed to the wall. You have probably seen these things before, like the 3-pin plug, plug into the mains socket. The mains cable consists of a live wire and also a neutral wire. Three wires are required in a 3-pin plug though, First one is a live wire, which is brown in color. You can see that live wire goes over here and is connected to this bar thing over here. Does anyone know why it is? You'll go through that in the next slide. The second wire is called a neutral wire, which is blue. And it comes to this side. The last one is the earth wire, which is green and yellow, and it goes up through the center. A fuse is a safety device which is made up of a piece of thin coated copper wire. Basically, it's just a metal wire. However, a fuse is special because when current passes through the fuse and it exceeds its specified value, such as this fuse over here says 13A, which means the maximum current that can flow through this fuse is 13 amperes. If more than 13 amperes flows through, let's say 15 amperes, the fuse will melt and it will break the circuit. This cuts the hole current out. What's the point of a wire that melts when too much current passes through? Many pieces of equipment, for example your computer, they have quite sensitive equipment inside them and this equipment cannot take too much current. For example, if your computer takes um, 10 amperes to run, however, let's say it has a lightning strike, much more than 10 amperes passes through your computer. If there was nothing to protect, your computer, your whole computer would melt. Once this fuse detects that more than 13 amperes of current is flowing through, this fuse will melt, therefore cutting out the circuit. This fuse will break, the current will not pass through, and it will not destroy the computer. This fuse is very small and very cheap, and can be replaced for perhaps 10 cents. Your computer is probably worth $1,000 to $2,000. Which one would be more worth it to break? Obviously, you would break the fuse. The fuse rating could be 3A, 5A, 13A, 15A, or 20A. So, you should choose a fuse which can take a current that is slightly larger than the maximum current that is allowed to pass through your electrical appliance 
before it overheats. For example, if a bulb takes a current of 3.1 amperes maximum, which fuse would you choose? You would choose the 5 ampere fuse. The next question is a bit more complicated. The appliance has a power rating of 300 volts and has a 240 volt supply. And they ask you which fuse would you use. The first one that I need to find is a current. Therefore, I would use the P equals to VI formula. Converting the formula around, it will be I equals to P over V, which will get me 300 divided by 240, getting you 1.25 amperes. So now I'll pick the next highest fuse rating which would be the 3 ampere fuse.